Hello, my sexy animals on the internet, my sexy spiritual animals. It is so good to be back. God, it feels like I was gone for like a year and I've only been gone for like a few weeks. It is so good to imagine seeing your faces right now and i've missed you hopefully you've missed me if we are friends if you've been here for a minute hopefully you say hello down below and like this video and all that jazz and connect with me because i really have missed you guys and you guys just mean so much to me it's just been it's been a really crazy journey uh these last few weeks like so much has happened that i'm going to talk about in a different video if you're interested that should also be coming this week at some point but anyways in this video I wanted to talk about the summer solstice and share and bask in this beautiful energy of the summer solstice with you and share some downloads that have been coming through about the summer solstice and just the energetics of what I really feel happening right now and what's going on right now okay so basically so we just entered into the summer solstice and cancer season so what I really feel for this energy is like it is time to step into refreshing energy like this is feels like a refreshing energy it feels like a time where it's like you know we've just went through all this turbulence with the with eclipse season in april and may of like letting go of the shit letting go of the lack letting go of the fear letting go of the self-sabotaging self-defeating behaviors you know like we've for a lot of people, I feel like it's been like really seeing where we've been putting up with and accepting the bare minimum in our lives instead of going after what we truly want, what truly feels abundant, what truly feels fulfilling, what like it's like you're at the store and you think that like, oh, I have to settle for this Tootsie Roll right or nothing at all because like I don't have the money and then all of a sudden you realize like, oh, that's not true because now I do have the money and I can get like this, you know, beautiful cake over here. I can get this beautiful, like, you know, dessert over here that I didn't know that I could have, you know? And that's like this energy. It's like, we're really seeing where we've been settling for the bare minimum, where we've been scraping by, where we've been holding ourselves back out of fear. And this is something that I've really been saying a lot lately. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you definitely should because I post a lot on Instagram. So if you vibe with me or want to keep up with me on more of a consistent basis, I'm always over on Instagram posting a ton of shit. I also post a lot more to Facebook now and I recently started a badass Facebook group called The Quantum She. It's completely free free and I did a badass live stream in there about like just stepping into your power and upgrading and all of that. Anybody is welcome. You do not have to be uh, a female or resonate like completely with uh, feminine energy to be a part of that. Uh, but that Facebook group is for anybody that really just wants to be in my inner circle to keep up with me to know what I'm doing. All the links will be down below. But anyway, so I've been saying lately that worthiness is not determined by anybody or anything else in your life like nothing on the face of this planet determines your worthiness besides you you are the only person that can quote unquote make yourself unworthy now what does that mean because from a higher perspective you're really not unworthy at all like none of that is true but from a human perspective you can act and be and do things in ways from a place of unworthiness. So if you believe deep down that you're unworthy, if you feel deep down that you're unworthy, you're not going to act on certain things. You're not going to take action. You're, you're, or you're going to make decisions or take action or settle from a place of unworthiness. So you're never going to really live up to the thing that you want to do deep down because you are holding yourself back. You're limiting yourself until you work through those wounds of unworthiness and realize that you're not fucking unworthy and you can do anything that you fucking wanna do, right? And so this cancer season and the summer solstice energy feels refreshing, it feels clean. It feels like a time where we are moving into cleaning up our lives, but not in a very turbulent purging detoxing like you know, fear-based way that we were with the Scorpio, Scorpio lunar eclipse, more so in a way of like letting go, releasing, like just basking in the healing energies of cancer, which is a water sign. Cancer is a water sign and cancer is a powerful water sign. Cancer is a cardinal water sign. It literally starts us in 
a new season and which is why we just had the summer solstice because the sun is coming to its brightest at this time of the year the sun is literally coming alive again at this time of the year and so we are regaining the light metaphorically with like but also literally like in the sky like the light is coming back alive and is like here i am bitches like look at me you know and so with this beautiful summer solstice energy this is a time where you literally can decide right here right now what am i settling for in my life where have i been putting up with the bare minimum where have i still been taking actions or making decisions or not making decisions or not taking action out of a place of lack insecurity fear or thinking that i deserve less than what i really do right no one and nothing can make you unworthy but you and i say you in quotation marks because like i said from a higher perspective you're not unworthy at all you know you're worthy but if you think you're unworthy you're going to start acting in ways and doing or not doing things that 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 validate that opinion of yourself that validate that belief of yourself so if you think that you're unworthy to live your dream life you're not going to try if you think you're unworthy of another person, you're not going to try. If you think you're unworthy of a job, you're not going to try. If you think you're unworthy for a new amount of abundance and, and money in your life, you're not going to try. And so this is why this is so important because when you kind of take a step back and you realize what you're settling for and what bare minimum in your life that you are putting up with, that you're clinging to, that you're attached to because it's safe, but also because you're not 1000% sure, 100% sure how to do better or confident in your ability to do better, this is where we have to look at these things, right? And so I feel like this summer solstice with cancer, with this cancer energy, with it being cancer season is a time of like stepping into a new you, like stepping into a new you stepping into a fresher you and a, a, a you that feels cleaner a, and more aligned energetically a you that feels more in the flow emotionally right and if you follow me on instagram or if you are in my goddess mode program which is the most powerful fucking thing that i have created to date uh like the women in there are absolutely amazing and i'm grateful for every single one of them and we are constantly experiencing miracle after miracle but Anyway, you hear me talk a lot about the flow state. And in that program, I talk a lot about how to get in the flow state where you feel like you are internally aligned and externally aligned, where you feel like you are in a flow with the universe, like you're syncing with the universe and it feels good and things are naturally happening. And it's like, it's amazing, right? Synchronicities galore, miracles everywhere. It's like signs everywhere, all the things, right? Well, cancer, this cancer energy, like I, I look at cancer as like the universal mother, the universal womb. This is where things are birthed. This is where things are born. This is where everything, the, the universe was created and the waters of this cancer energy. So this is like a portal almost. This is like a portal for you to let go to completely let go of all the shit that is keeping you tied down, that is holding you back, that is not in alignment with who you really are, and you fucking know it deep down, and you know that you are meant for more, and you know that you are ready to truly step into a place that feels more in alignment with who you are, your integrity, that feels good, and that feels in the flow, and that feels cleaner, that feels refreshing. So this is a time to trust. Cancer is a water sign. The element of water is feminine. Cancer is a feminine sign. It's very much about emotional trust. It's about opening up your heart space and really like getting to that raw, vulnerable part of you. And people hear the word vulnerable and they cringe once again. Like I feel bad for water signs because we are not very emotionally intelligent in the in the, the world and the society that's been created today but cancer is a beautiful energy and being vulnerable 
is a beautiful energy. It actually is the sign of strength because being vulnerable is actually the hardest thing to do in today's society. One of the harder things to do for many people. So allowing your heart to open, living in a place of surrender, living in a place of not being in resistance to the present moment. Because literally anytime we have an issue, it's because something inside of us, not something outside of us, but something inside of us has an issue with the present moment. Something inside of us is resisting this present moment. And that's what brings the issue. That's what brings the tension. That's what brings feeling stuck and all of the feelings that a lot of people don't wanna feel. When we have an issue with the present moment, we start spiraling and we start kind of like going into all of these different things about why this is happening and what it means about us and et cetera, et cetera. When really at the end of the day, we just have an issue with this moment and we're making it mean all these different things that it doesn't have to mean. And from a universal standpoint, if you were the universe looking down at you, would it really mean all those things? So this is a time to lean into rest, to lean into cleanliness, to lean into surrender, to lean into trust, to lean into the feminine and to lean into the element of water, being near water as much as possible can really, really help during this time. Water can be deeply healing. Water can be deeply cleansing. It can literally bring about a rebirth that you didn't know was possible. So allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to get to the depths of your heart and your vulnerability and what feels true in your heart. Oh, mind over heart, where my mind wants one thing, my heart wants another thing. That is not the case. Your fear tells you one thing and your heart tells you another thing. That is the case. Or you could even say your ego tells you one thing and your heart tells you another thing. So where can you shed more layers of you? Where can you be more vulnerable? Where can you open your heart more to receive? Where can you lean into trust instead of expecting things to be proven to you? Getting all crazy about like needing things to like be a certain way or see things that, you know, whatever. And where can you surrender more? Where can you surrender the outcome more? Where can you feel more? Where can you get deep within yourself? Like allow this to be a time that you get so deep within yourself that you let go of all of the things that don't matter or that really are not keeping you in a, in a, in a clean place within yourself. Like letting go of those things that are like the bare minimum, right? Letting go of those feelings of lack, letting go of those feelings of insecurity and stop attaching to them, stop reacting out of them, stop, you know, going from that place, doing anything from that place, right? Like this can be like your next level. Like you can decide right fucking now, like I'm stepping into this new energy. I'm stepping into this new, like this is going to be a time where I get so emotionally comfortable with myself that nothing else really fucking matters beyond that. When you get to that place, it's like powerful. When you can cultivate that level of like deep trust and deep comfort within yourself beyond what's going on outside of you, beyond whatever situation that you're in, beyond what's there, what's not there, what, what's coming, what's not coming, what you want to be there or what you think you need to be there or whatever, that is a powerful, powerful place to be. And that is how we can really, really usher in this summer solstice and allow this energy to like integrate within our being. Fully integrate it and use it to heal, use it to step into our power, use it to step into this next level of who we really fucking are deep down. Because when you peel back the layers you get closer to your heart space. You allow yourself to get more vulnerable. You get closer to the real you, the divine you, not the you that feels like you need to fear and you need to protect and you need to shut yourself off and, you know, ignore your emotions and shove them down and repress them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You need to act a certain way that's not really authentic, that's not really vulnerable. So we crack ourselves open to our divinity the more we crack ourselves open to our heart. 
And so that is what I wanted to share with you. Those are some messages I wanted to share with you as we are moving into this uh, summer solstice energy and moving into cancer season. Hopefully these messages resonated. If they did, if you could be so kind to comment down below and let me know what resonated with you, what you needed to hear. And uh, I would love to really hear what you guys have to say. As I said, I missed you guys. And I have a video coming soon on uh, basically what's been going on in my world. It's been crazy. Uh, I went through a breakup recently from a long-term relationship, the relationship I've been in since I started my spiritual journey. Um, <laughs> if you've been here since 2020, then you know this isn't the first time that this has happened, but it does feel like the final time. So, uh, but I was going through that. I got sick with the big, you know, the big C word that was going around again, and that was my first time getting it. And yeah, it was a rough couple weeks and I moved through it and I feel back and better than ever. And it just feels really good to be back and really good to be back in my energy and back in my flow. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. If you want to keep up with me, that is where I post the most. Make sure to add uh, my the Quantum She Facebook group, uh, especially if you want to get a lot of exclusive stuff and offers and be in the know, be in my inner circle and catch, you know, a lot of like free master classes and stuff that I'm doing in there. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon.